I'd like to show you how to set your espresso profile on the Decent Espresso machine. So this is the main page where you can choose to make hot water, espresso, or steam. And up here on the top right is the settings icon, which I'll click. And this is what a espresso profile looks like. Now currently, what we're doing here is we're immediately climbing to nine bars of pressure. We're holding the pressure for 10 seconds, and then we're slowly declining to 8.4 bar. And you can easily change all these numbers. So for example, instead of climbing to 9 bar, let's say you want to climb to 8.4 bar. And let's say you want to use the pressure profiling capability of the Decent Espresso machine and bring it down to 5. Now, the reason you'd want to do that is that you climb the pressure up here, and this is the main part of making your espresso. And then as the coffee erodes, the water would normally be speeding up. Um, and what you want to do is use pressure profiling to compensate for that by decreasing pressure over time so that you have less pressure going in because your coffee puck is eroding. We also have the ability to have pre-infusion, which we highly recommend you do. The pre-infusion happens here and it's drawn as 10 seconds, but actually it will be anything between 8 and 15 seconds because we have a feature that does automatic pre-infusion. What we do is we put water in at 2 milliliters per second and then we detect when the puck is fully saturated and then we ramp up the pressure automatically for you. Now the reason that that's quite good is that previous to the decent espresso machine, pre-infusion was always timed. And the problem is, is that it's very hard to determine what the right time is to fully saturate a coffee puck. But what we do is put water in and then detect when it's slightly too hard to get water into the puck. And then we know that pre-infusion has fully saturated the puck. We raise the pressure, we hold it, and then we decline. Now, if you want to have a pressure profile, let's say that's 9 bar, which is a very traditional Italian one, and right there, that would be a traditional Italian machine like what La Marzocco GS3 does. Now, if you have pre-infusion capability in a professional machine, which many do, Nuevo Slavoni has that, for example, um, that's what this would look like, would be hold for a pre-infusion, rise, and then a constant pressure. And then if you're lucky enough to have spent, I don't know, 10 or 20,000 US dollars on a pressure profiling machine, you'd have the ability to do this. You can also change how long you hold and how quick your decline is. And it's all reflected right here. And when you're done, all you do is hit done and make an espresso.